So we already know AWS is Amazon Web Service, right? So when we want to use that particular web service, we are going to create the infrastructure on it. So for creating the infrastructure, we need the account on AWS, right? So the very first account that we create on AWS is called as AWS root account. So under principle and identity topic, these are the subtopics that we are going to cover. We'll understand what is root account, how to create it. We'll be understanding what is IAM. This is a service which stands for identity and access management. So we would be understanding about this service, which basically provides us with the authentication and the authorization of the users. We would be understanding what is IAM user and where to use this, what are user groups and what are IAM rules. So this topic is really very important on the perspective of exam as well as concept clearance. Okay, so this is a very important topic according to both the criteria. So let us understand what is AWS root account. So when you try to go create AWS infrastructure, okay, as I told that you need one account. So the very first account that you would be creating is your root account. How can you create it? Simply, just like we sign up for any other website. Okay, you have to give your email address and you have to set up your password. So once you do this, your root account would be created. This root account would be having unrestricted access to everything. So it has complete access to all AWS services and resources. Do we want this unrestricted access for each and every user of our company? Obviously not, right? Because let us say that uh, one admin created this root account, okay? And then we have developers in our company. So developers should not be having access to all the AWS service that to unrestricted that they can do anything. They can even delete the root account. They can delete other resources. They can work with the resources which they are not meant to be. So we don't want that, right? So for that purpose, we have another concept that is called as IAM user. So for the company's people or our team, we create IAM users. Okay, now what are this? We are going to discuss very soon into our particular slides. But let's take the example over here, right? So when we are accessing a root user, okay? The root user would be, as I told you, that you will be signing in using your email address and the password, okay? And AWS strongly recommends not to use the root account credentials for your day-to-day -day life activities. So for that, what do we do? We create the IAM users, even for the administrators of the account. Okay, who are the administrator who manages and creates all the infrastructure or the people who are, uh, you know, responsible for paying out the bills. So according to the different job roles, according to the different uh, privileges that we want to give to our team members, we create IAM users for them, right? So first of all, let us see this root account on our portal that how does it look like? So let me just take you to the portal. So this is our AWS portal, right? We are very familiar to that. Now see, because these services, you are seeing it over here, right? Why? Because I've marked them as favorite. How to mark these services as favorite? I can simply go here, I can search for any of the service, let's say RDS. See, the star symbol is there just beside that service. If you just mark this star, it would be marked as favorite and you can easily navigate to your services from this pane. Okay, now I am into my root user account right now. How do I know? Here you can see I have this account ID. So I'm not into any of the IAM user. So let me just sign out from this particular uh, account. Okay, I will just sign out from here and I'll show you how to actually go to your particular account or how to create your account. So you will go to aws.amazon.com and once you are inside of that uh, website, you can just sign into the console. I already have an account with me. If you do not have the account, then you can create a new AWS account. 
So when you sign in, you get two options. Do you want to sign in using the root user credentials or do you want to sign in using IAM user? So IAM user will also be having the same things. Okay, he or she needs to put the account ID over here. Then, um, then the account email address and lastly the password. Okay, so if you just go and create new AWS account, okay, then it is a very simple process just like you uh, make any other website sign-ins okay or sign-ups that is the very same process you just have to put your root user email address you have to put your account name okay you can put either your name or uh, like if that account is created for developers or if it is created for the production environment or testing environment then you can give the AWS account name according to your environments as well right once it is done, you have to verify your email and that's it. You are, you have successfully created your AWS account and you can go to your portal. So now that this is done and this is being clear, I will sign in into my existing AWS account. Okay. And I'll go back to the portal. So I am back into my portal as you can see it over here. Right. Now, what are we going to do? We we just understood right that how the root user would be helpful for us so it is the very first account that we create for using amazon web services okay now the other thing that we are going to discuss about in this module is this particular service which is iam that is identity and access management so right now i'm just showing you this particular service we'll first be discussing on the slides and then we'll be coming back to the portal okay so this is our iam management console as you can see, I have several user groups and users created over here. But what are these? We are going to discuss that first and we'll come back here again. Right? Okay. So now we have this, uh, we have discussed about root account. 